फ्राइडेज एट माइगव है ना बहुत खास है आज हम आप सबके सामने आए हैं जीपे से ग्लोबल पार्टनरशिप ऑन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस समिट 2023 जीपे समिट 2023 में दुनिया भर के जानी मानी लोगों ने कहा कि गए वो दिन जब टेक्नोलॉजी की दुनिया में भारत एक दर्शक हुआ करता था आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस की दुनिया में भारत अब एक फ्रंट रनर है एक पाइनियर है जैसे कि मिस गैब्रियाला रेमोस जो कि है यूनेस्को की असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर जनरल फॉर सोशल एंड ह्यूमन साइंसेस जिन्होंने कहा इस बिकॉज इंडिया हैज द टेक्नोलॉजिकल कैपेसिटी इज अ लीडर इन डेवलपिंग दिस टेक्नोलॉजी बट आल्सो हैज द सोसाइटल कॉन्शियस ऑफ हाउ मच दिस इज नॉट अबाउट द टेक्नोलॉजीज बट अबाउट हाउ डू वी यूज द टेक्नोलॉजीज फॉर आवर सोसाइटीज या फिर नास्कॉम की प्रेसिडेंट मिस देवजानी घोष इंडिया इज रीडिफाइनिंग इनोवेशन फॉर अस इनोवेशन स्टार्ट्स ग्राउंड्स अप it starts with the last woman or child out there and then we build it up right aur ye to the sirf do examples aur bhi kai sare hai to chaliye aapko dikhate hai batate hai ki kis tarah bharat desh ban chuka hai artificial intelligence ki duniya ka sabse bada front runner jiska prime example hai ye the global partnership on artificial intelligence summit 2023 aaiye fridays at mygov ki shuruaat kare ए आई टैलेंट और ए आई से जुड़े न्यू आइडियाज का सबसे प्रमुख प्लेयर है भारत के युवा टेक एक्सपर्ट्स रिसर्चर्स ए आई लिमिट्स को एक्सप्लोर कर रहे हैं I know that uh, India has a uh, very advanced technology and uh, many human resources uh, uh, many famous universities I know and um, um I I understand that uh, India is one, one of the leading com- countries uh, also in the field of AI I hope that uh, India would uh, would be uh, one of the leading con- countries uh, uh, of AI I'm very impressed with the progress India would have made on AI its projects for social good. Um it's amazing what India is doing within the AI realm and I feel like India is going to be a trend setter. I was thrilled to hear the Prime Minister speak. He explained the vision for India within the AI realm and he said that it was launched at the G20. Um and he has a very big vision for AI and you're leading in so many areas in digital technology broadly but certainly in AI i mean with the software ecosystem and the engineering talent you have here it's really fantastic to see um the dynamic nature of what businesses are doing in india on ai and, and on top of that india is at the top of the political uh discussion internationally around how to govern ai teen youngsters hai young india teen budding engineers uh, welcome karte hai aapko mygov pe chalo sabse pehle main aapse puchna chahunga you know as young indians as young students budding engineers aapko kitni khushi kitna pride garv mehsoos hota hai ye dekhkar ki bharat abhi sirf ek bystander nahi hai when it comes to ai it's one of the front runners it's a pioneer अभी हमने एन आई सी की काउंटर पर देखा कि कितने सारे मॉडल्स ऑलरेडी बन चुके हैं तो आई फील वेरी प्राउड टू बी हियर Of course it's a proud moment for all of us our prime minister using technical terms in his own interviews and speeches and we have seen when we are making our own LLM models which is absolutely good अब हम ए की फील्ड में आ, किसी और पे डिपेंडेंट नहीं हम अपने खुद के मॉडल्स तैयार कर रहे हैं और हम धीरे धीरे कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि पूरे वर्ल्ड को ओवरटेक कर दें इन द ए फील्ड and i was really interested to hear that india has um large language models being built around various dialects of uh you know across across uh, across the country and so that is a super important aspect of ai is to have language models that are in native languages india is going to lead the way on on making it for india we need is communities that understand that ai is a toolkit that can help every single person on the planet and i've just heard there's a research project that uses ai to recognize when an elephant's approaching and use an ai enabled deterrent system that makes them go away what a humane and beautiful approach to a fundamental problem the communities face the western world has always thought of innovation as top down it's been built for the top 
and then they have figured out how to scale it down. I think what India has done is tremendously difficult, but it is absolutely needed because if you're talking about human-centric technology, you cannot build it top down. You have to build it ground. You have to build it in the grassroots. And that's what we're showing the world that it is possible. One of the key things that India has always had in abundance is talent, right? And I think that the, the triumvirate for AI, right? Talent compute data. India also has an incredible amount of data. You've gone through the digital revolution so quickly and so powerfully that I think you're in a position to do more uh, with AI and to solve problems that that maybe no one else is, maybe they're thinking of, but they just aren't in a position to get the data. So I think India is going to be able to lead on a lot of stuff. Taken very significant and very important uh, decisions when it comes to not just AI, but uh, data sharing and data policies. What I've noticed in the past two, three years is government has become very open with respect to collaborating with a lot many other institutions. There has been a lot of research happening, but there never been a, a better time where we had actionable inputs coming out at a faster pace. So that's what is happening and government is giving its eyes and ears. In near future as far as AI is concerned. So I think these are very exciting times for India in relation to AI because it's got a perfect mix of lots of different key ingredients. Um, it's got a workforce and a, and a pool of young people who are really, really engaged. Um, I see so much entrepreneurial energy um, and also it's got great skills in terms of the core AI um, and quantitative and, and uh, programming uh, skill set that you need. So uh, I think it's got all of the key ingredients to really drive um, the conversation around AI and the products um, that we're going to see in the future around AI. Government support and, and just the idea that government is willing to partake in these events, open up conversations, you know, it's become so easy to access uh, meaty officials. Right? Like we were able to meet some of them in, through this event, present our product, possibly even, you know, get, uh, get an appointment of sorts, right? Uh, that wasn't easy some time ago. So I'm really grateful for opportunities like these. And I think the, the AI mission that, that PM Modi announced, I think that will really help a lot of people and that will democratize AI. Young, committed Indian people who are willing to understand that these technologies are for all of us. But attached to it, I think, is a sense that this isn't a national story, this is a global story. One where we build solutions that advance human dignity and ethics around the world. And here, the combination of ingenuity, of public investment, and this idea that we can build tools for everyone is driving the conversation. It's something that, as India takes the presidency of GPI for the next year, is going to be a critical part of a global conversation. And I'm delighted to be here to be a part of it. Yeah, I was uh, even my Myself gladly surprised by, for instance, how uh, modern and efficient is the payment system here. I think there are many, many other things that uh, AI would help. Uh, once AI is really democratized and then everyone in India can use it from the farmers to uh, uh, professors, uh, uh, anyone, uh, that just um, give us a good sense on how the world would be different at that time and how the uh, individual productivity would be enhanced uh, for the better good. So, you can see internationally renowned dignitaries se leke bharat ke young ceo se leke bharat ke students tak sabke zabaan pe bas ek hi baat hai new india naya bharat artificial intelligence ki duniya ka sabse bada khiladi hai ladies and gentlemen ye tha is hafte ka fridays at mygov comments pe likh ke hame zarur bataiye ki aapko hamara ye video kaisa laga aur gpay summit 2023 bhi kaisa laga aapse milte hain agle video pe subscribe zarur kijiye mygov ko mera naam hai kora croy bahut jald milunga